field has dried and we're all ready for a resumption in play. Mentioned that there are still one or two very wet patches on the outfield. It's a solid enough drive from Strauss, misfield at mid off. Gets Strauss away and gets that ball down into that fog at long off, but it's not foggy enough to stop it going for four. Brilliant, brilliant bowling, full and swinging just where you want to be to Strauss early on. We mentioned earlier he can be lazy with his footwork with the front foot. It's flicked away well. It's four runs, so Michael Vaughan has composed himself again. Good delivery, fine delivery, that's better. Changing the line around the wicket and getting it absolutely spot on. Michael Vaughan just feeling for that. Short of a slip cord and well short. It's a boundary. Well, that's very close. Yet another finger goes up. Ian Howell this time gives the decision. The seven for seven. Edged and gone. Tahir Khan deserving that wicket. Latchman takes the catch. Tickle away, nice and fine. That'll be four. Nice shot. That one will go to the boundary. I'm sure of that. No one's catching it. That's close. Give him. Going in the other direction this time, coming back in. Short and edged. The break has done the trick for India. Zahir Khan's got the wicket. Oh dear, what luck for Michael Vaughan, what bad luck for Michael Vaughan. Pretty close and he's got to go. Well, what a turnaround in fortunes for India. That is edged, has it carried? Collingwood looks back, he's gone. It's a full Yorker, Ganguly expected the bouncer. It was a double bluff. The ball has rushed away for four buys. India win by seven wickets. It's only the fifth time they've won a test match in England. The two captains shake hands, India. Won a crucial toss on that first morning, but they've made better use of the conditions. Dravid and Ganguly are at the crease. They win the test match.